Chemistry is in everything, including snow. Crystallography allows us to study the arrangement of atoms in a snowflake crystal. Though they all start pretty much the same, once they begin crystallizing, it's true that no two snowflakes are alike. In fact, the number of possible shapes is staggering. A snowflake starts as a dust grain floating in a cloud. Water vapor in the air sticks to the dust grain, and the resulting droplet turns directly into ice. Crystal faces appear on the frozen droplet. Then a prism forms with six faces and a top and bottom. A cavity forms in each prism face because ice grows fastest near the edges. Faster growth on the corners causes six branches to sprout. The lines in each branch are due to ridges and grooves on the surface. These six branches form the corners of a hexagon, which occurs because the water molecules chemically bond into a hexagonal network. When the temperature cools to minus 13 Celsius, new growth at the branch tips narrows. At minus 14, side branches sprout on each branch. Suddenly, the crystal encounters a quick blast of warmer air, followed by cooler air, and more side branches sprout. The crystal gradually warms, making the tips long and narrow. The crystal encounters even warmer air, which slows the growth and widens the tips. Finally, this unique and delicate structure falls to the earth along with countless other snowflakes. Cool, right? Over the years, crystallographers have been classifying snow crystals into different categories based on their arrangement of atoms. In the 1930s, there were 21 different classifications of snowflake, but by 2013, that number soared to 121. To see snow crystals at the molecular level, scientists send a beam of x-rays through a sample of snowflakes. The x-rays bounce off all the atoms in a snowflake and head in all different directions, sort of like the light off the sides of a disco ball. By seeing where these beams end up, we can figure out the arrangement of the snowflake's atoms, and therefore what it looks like at the atomic level. Who's to say what new snowflake categories crystallographers will find in 2016? But one thing's for certain, the ever-changing environment means that snowflakes can have a mind-boggling array of shapes. We're doing an audience survey right now, so be sure to check the description for the link. We really want to hear from you guys and hear more about what you want to see in upcoming Reactions episodes. Thanks very much. You know what to do.